I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. The struggle is real with the makeup nurse. Today we are going to use, uh, it's the brand Thursday. We're going to do Wonder Beauty. And I have two palettes and they both look like I've never touched them. Look at those colors. And those colors. So I might just dip into a little of both. This is the Seascape palette and this is the Rush palette. So let's see. Um, let's start with OTW. I think that's on the way. Oh, it's kind of powdery. And even though I overslept again, man, that's like becoming a routine for me. I don't have as many Wonder Beauty products. I only have what I've gotten in my subscriptions. I've actually never heard of this brand before. Actually, I had quite a bit of, um, I had some skincare with, with them. But um, I gave that to my friend um, when she shot my stash. So, all right, so now I am going to go in with, um, oh. this palette seems to have two matte shades these two right here where this palette only has this one I mean this blue one could kind of be a matte but it's got a little bit of a shimmer too but so I'm gonna just go in with this brown called Swift and just kind of darken that up but even though I woke up late I still want to do a cut crease again because I have such hooded eyes, I want to get better at that. And pretty soon, I'll be quick at it, if I practice. So I just want to make the time. All right, let's do this. That light in the back seemed like it was making a glare. I'm trying to make Yeah, because even I think I gotta make my crease a little bit bigger. Which it almost takes up the whole transition shape that's okay we can make it a little bit bigger there so now I'm gonna go in with um, I think let's go in with blitz on this and I'm gonna use my finger first and start putting that on the cut crease Mm. Okay, 
now I think I'm gonna put go in with my to kind of bring that up more from the cut crease. Okay, now let's take this on the way shade and kind of make that blend. Let's take that Swiss shade and kind of blend that back in. See, when I do the cut crease, I do bring it up way too high. all the shadows but that's because I don't have as much lid space and then I have the um, hooded eyes so alright let's go ahead and be done with that let's see actually let's do a little Avenue for right in between. Ooh, this one is, I like this shade or this, uh, this is this one's pigmented. Well, I like that one. Okay, now. Let's do eyeliner. Oh, you know what? I don't have um, a felt tip eyeliner. Oh, that's. I'm gonna go ahead and do eyeliner. I'll be back and do the under eyes with this. Okay, this is kind of broken, so I gotta push it up if I can do it. I've never been able to use this either, so. Ooh. Now, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I haven't used it. I don't think I've used this one. I wonder, it's not going on as easy, but it could be because it's broken. Now I don't know if I can get it back down. I'll fix that later. Okay, this is the Glotion Lotion Illumin. I'm not sure if it's a primer or a foundation. It looks more like a, like a primer. Actually, yeah, I think it looks like it's a primer. We'll use it as a primer. Does it say? A skincare enriched hydrating lotion that delivers a beautiful sheer champagne gold finish wear under or over makeup. So yeah. I don't know how you wear this all over but we're gonna and I put way too much. So we're gonna use it as a primer, I guess. It's a little glow. Okay, I'll be back.
Okay, I did most of my face. Now I am gonna go in with this Wonder Beauty eyebrow pencil. It's a micro brow, brow pencil. So, is that my phone? Yeah, it was my phone, but by the time I got there, they hung up. What the fuck? That's good. We want this early. Okay. Yeah, clean this. Like I'm seeing, like, I don't know if it's the foundation or. I don't know. Okay, let's go in with. This micro pencil. Huh, I actually kind of like it. It's funny that I've had this, these products, and I don't think I've actually even tested any of them. You get so much stuff from your subscriptions and things just kind of get left to the back and you forget about them. Now that one I did way too much, way darker than this one. So I better darken this one up. I do better with the tinted mascara brows because I can just put it in and I don't have to try to shape this, especially on days that I'm running late. Okay, so now let's finish the rest of our eyes. And I'm thinking I want this Champagne Harbor in this palette because it's a little bit lighter. It's kind of okay. Now I'm gonna put some. Oh, you know what? I gotta do. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting. My lower eyes. I'm gonna go in with this burgundy type shade. Just put a little bit in, even though it's glimmery. I just want some color. Okay, maybe I'll go in with a little bit of this shade here. Kind of go over it. I should have done the opposite, but whatever. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to try the seafoam here for my inner side of the eyes. Inner corner. Kind of try to get some pop in this palette. You guys, I tried to use this mascara again, and there were there wasn't any product. I could not get any product out. Like, that's two mascaras with. I mean, I you tried this out when I first tried it in my um, first impressions video. It was. I'm like, am I getting anything out? And I felt like I got some out. So I went to try it, and there was like no product. I had to use my Tarte mascara, but I used the fibers side and there's fibers in here but no I think I got a fiber on my eye and it says be careful but it's kind of I mean fibers are all over and you're putting it near your eye I don't I still don't get what the fibers are anyway well this is the final look using the Wonder Beauty makeup at least the eyes anyway are um what do you think I kind of like it. The look came out a little bit better than I thought. Maybe a little much on the eyes, but... Well, anyway, let me know what you think, and I hope you have a great brand, The Brand Thursday. Bye!